what if I told you I created this video or this video of a polar bear crawling out a cardboard box or this video of a princess riding a unicorn using Kling AI's new feature which is elements. Now Kling AI has this latest update of elements where you can combine multiple images to create a video. So this lies in their image to video category and you can actually go on and use it for consistent characters like here. You can give element 1 and element 2 and then combine them or you can give up to four elements and you can even use this for character interactions like a dog and a cute kid playing with the dog. Now this is really powerful and I was really looking forward to it. So let's dive right in. So we are here at Kling AI but before diving into how you're going to use elements you can just go to their Kling AI guide and here you can see that they have a complete guide on how you can use elements for character consistency or how you can use it for interactions between characters. So please go through this if you're stuck anywhere. But let's dive into the Kling AI interface and here you can see you have to come to the image to video section and down here you have elements. You can give up to four images here. I have given just one in this scenario and I asked it to create a moving train scene with the scenery showing from the window and it did this but this was just one element. What if I increase the number of elements? So I went on and increased the number of elements and I generated this where I added the tiger's image as a second element and I generated this using AI so you can do that as well and it gave me these results where a tiger is running there is some morphing there, there is some distortion but still this is a new feature for Kling 1.6 and the best result that I think is the best is this one. A cat, a jacket and the sunglasses and I give all these images here and it generated this for me. I went on and I said a cat wearing the leather jacket and sunglasses and strikes a pose towards the camera and it did a fabulous job at that. So this is by far the best generation that I got. But I went on and did some other generations as well, like this one here, where I gave it a Japanese girl, a Tokyo street, and a dress. It did not go with the dress, it didn't change the dress, but the walk is good, and we have the Japanese street. Again, there is some morphing here, but as I've told you, this is a new feature that just got launched, that I gave it a unicorn and a princess, and it did a really good job at that, although I don't know if the unicorn is flying or running. But at last, this generation was one of the cutest, where I made a white bear crawl out of a cardboard box. And you can see here, I gave it a really small prompt, a small bear crawling out of the cardboard box. I gave it a box and a bear picture that I generated using AI. And, and these were all of my generations that I tested with this new elements feature. But now it's time for me to show you how you can do this as well. So for that, you will have to have some images. And I would recommend that you go to Leonardo AI. So I have Leonardo AI here. You can see that I've generated the previous images from here. And you can generate these images as well. So this time the idea is I'm going to create a scene where a kid plays with a puppy. So I'm just going to go with a simple and short prompt like a brown puppy looking at the camera because I want to capture the facial expressions and let's generate that. Now for the second thing, the second element that we want here is a kid, a six years old kid, brown hair and tan skin. There you go. This is the second element. Now for the third element, I want to have some toys nearby. So I'm just going to go and say a toy ball and zebra. That's it. Let's go and generate these. So these are some of the results. So let's check out the results. This one, this one. So I think I'm going to go with this because we want to have all the features of the dog like his limbs as well. So I'm just going to go and download this. As for the kid, I can choose any of these, but I think we need to regenerate these because... What I'm thinking about is the kid patting the dog as we saw in the example. So for that we have to have an idea about the kid's hands and there's no hands in these images. As well as the zebra and the ball, I think I forgot to tell it that I want the zebra to be a toy as well. So I have to redo this. So I went on and did that and they are being generated. Once these are generated, we can actually pick the kid and the toys. So there you go, we have the new images. I think this one is better. It's not that good, but I think this is better than the other ones. So I'm just gonna go and download this. And as for the kid, I'm just gonna go with the first image. 
So let's just download this. And now we have our images. But before going back to Kling, for those of you who don't know what Leonardo is, Leonardo is an amazing image generator and you can sign up with it for free. They give you 150 credits for free and I generated all of these images in the free credits. So you can pretty much do it and they give you 150 credits per day for free. So yeah, do try it. Now back here at Klinge, what you can do is you can just delete these images from here and you can upload the new images. So there you go. I have the boy, the dog and the toy and I can just add a prompt here or you can go to the help center for best practices, which I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to go with this prompt. The boy is patting the dog laying next to him, the zebra toy on the side laying on the floor. So let's actually go and generate. But before doing that, you can switch between these modes. So I'm just going to go with professional mode. And as for the duration, I can go with 5 seconds or 10 seconds. But I want to keep it at 5 seconds. Because the longer your generation, the longer time it will take for it to generate. As for the aspect ratio, I'm going to go with a portrait view. And I just want to generate one video. No negative prompts because this is just a test and I did all of these generations without negative prompts. So I was going to throw this in the queue and it might take around 10 minutes to 9 minutes for this to generate once this gets out of the queue. So let's just wait for that. So there you go, the results are out and I must say I really like them. So the boy is actually patting the dog and we have those balls here the toy balls zebra like striping so this is a really great result i want to actually go ahead and download this see how powerful ai is getting i just give it an image for the dog the boy and the zebra toy and it did a pretty good job at that and you can even see that the clothes from the image are identical as well as the hairstyle even the ball striping and the dog is exactly the same all in all the results are really amazing and i highly encourage you guys to go ahead and try elements by kling ai that they just released and they are available in the Kling 1.6 model. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.